Afghanistan, Pakistan. Well, it's a very critical and a very delicate situation because uh, we always had uh, very good relations with the Taliban regime. This is one of the few countries in the world, perhaps the closest to the Taliban regime. And now we are faced uh, with a situation wherein our own uh, national interests are uh, at stake. Most of these uh, organizations which are now supporting Osama bin Laden, the leadership has the greatest challenge, in fact. Because on one hand, you are uh, facing the pressure of the United States and the Western world to join the international community. And Pakistan also has its own national interests in fighting terrorism because it is against terrorism. And uh, so uh, or this is uh, one, situ uh, I mean, one aspect of the uh, situation. And the other aspect is that we do not want that um, you know, the people of Afghanistan should face uh, more misery than what they are already have faced in the last two decades. Mr. Right. Right. Uh, actually, uh, I'll ask this question. Uh, I think the Taliban are very alien to pragmatism. They haven't shown any pragmatism all these uh, years that they have been in power. And I don't see uh, that they would change very much. And I would also say that I think they consider, you know, if they would hand over uh, Osama bin Laden, then their uh, regime may probably collapse or it's, uh, you know, become internally very weak and they cannot afford to do that. So it is not just a question of handing over to someone, but also the whole structure uh, of uh, Taliban might, uh, you know, uh, crumble. Uh, We wouldn't have been to Kabul to see our girls. Thank you. Or all six women are kept in a room together. They have um, a little mattress that they sleep on. Uh, they get three meals a day, as we understand it. Uh, some of it's from food that they're allowed to purchase with money that we've provided them. And I guess one of the people at the center goes out and buys it at the market. And uh, uh, frankly, most of the, the Taliban that we met there uh, you know, assured us that they were being well taken care of, they wouldn't be harmed. And uh, as, as Heather's mother said, up until now they were, they appeared to be fine. The representative of the embassy there who said that he spoke with somebody in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that delivered um, some things to them and saw the girls. So, yeah. Would you remain in Pakistan, come what may, even if the State Department advises U.S. citizens to leave? This is as far as I'm going, to, without my daughter, come hell or high water.